so what we're doing is we're making a flap. We need two pieces like this and one piece of fusing, interfacing. And the shiny bit, you can see it's glistening there, is the um, glue. And we need to iron that to adhere it to the top piece of our flap. Alright, so there's my top flap. The two of them are ironed together. And I'm going to trim off the extra. Make sure you've got the right temperature on the iron so that they actually adhere to each other and not um, melt or burn the fabric. Cool. Okay, so I've got my ironed top flap putting underneath right sides together. And I'm going to make a one centimetre seam, reversing at the end. Turn down at the corner, put the needle down at the corner, change directions. Change directions. the threads right I'm going to cut these corners from the corners I'm going to get rid of this I'm getting rid of this on the basis that it gets rid of um, all the extra fabric so when you turn it out it's not going to be bulky in the corners you get nice cross corners so I tend to sort of like trim it off on an angle I usually sort of get my nail there and cut around the nail a bit so you've got about three millimeters on the corner you don't want to make it too close to the fabric because it will um, it will sort of like, you could actually get the raw ridges showing through. So with your tweezers, just on the outside of your sewing line, poke it through. These tweezers are great for these. They've kind of got a round, roundish end on them. And push them through again. Give it a little bit of a jiggle. That one there, last one. So this flat would go over the top of a patch pocket. Probably something like that. Oh, see there, that's what you don't do. I've given it just to glue it too much there, but because this is a sample, it probably wouldn't matter too much. Okay, so you just line these up to make sure that you've got them straight. See, that's not 100% straight, so this is my opportunity to fix up that bit there. So I will do exactly that. I want it straight. I want the same edges on the same side. So I'm going to go back here on this corner and just sew a little bit more. And that's important where you cut it too, that they're the same length. So not only have I actually fixed up the hole that I just made, I've also fixed up, hopefully, the fact that the two sides need to be identical. Alright, so we'll check this out again. Okay, so that's pretty much right. So we'll go like this. We're top stitching it. I'm rolling the underneath part just slightly underneath. Slightly underneath, because from the top, I'm edge stitching it. I've got a compensating foot on. Changing direction, just an edge stitch. See this foot drops down one side to the other. And I just make sure that I'm rolling that under again still there. I'm going to put this onto my garment. Cool. Okay, so what I could do here is overlock this edge here, this raw edge. 
um, and if I wanted to do that, that would sort of um, add bulk to it, but it'd be a better way of doing it. So you're selling it on, I've left about a centimetre in here. And I'm going right to the actual edge. Don't go over it because you'll see you're stitching on the outside. Now this is probably a good time to trim all your extra um, frayed edges off. And trim all your threads. So now I'm going to top stitch it down here. Now this is where I would do about a, a 6mm seam of top stitching. Because that will cover up that extra... Um, sewing like the raw ridges underneath and you won't see it quite so much you can use a different compensating foot for this or just a standard foot make sure it's straight pull it down a little bit as you go and one more stitch and we'll be done but you've got to reverse it each end And trim all your threads off both sides. Right, done. You put a button, a buttonhole in there. All right, so just under there, why I made it just slightly wider than that first seam that I did and cut all those threads away so that they don't all hang under here and this would sit like this your stitching that you put underneath when you rolled it under the top the fusing should be on the top here this one will not have the fusing on underneath this one has the fusing to give it a nice crisp finish and there you have it your flap to go over your patch pocket <laughs>